across to Jordan King who's not going to reach that ball and suddenly Harangay Barra are on the ball instead. It's number seven. Two parts. Finds Dolbert in space on the left. Steps in. Cross comes in. It's a good cross but it's punched away by the keeper only as far as the player assistant manager. He plays a pass. A lovely little back here from Ryan Hawkins. Here's a long shot from Jordan King but it goes wide off the left post. That was a nice little... Here comes the cross on the left hand side. Intercepted initially by Ryan Miles. Harangay do have the second ball, nice little turnaround from Manny Yaboe, who runs towards the ball, he jinks really nicely to the edge of the box, still going here, Manny Yaboe, he passes it across and it is, oh, it's a fantastic flying save from Ollie Sutton, it was a really, really good run from Manny Yaboe, he played it into Matt Young, Matt Young shot hard and low, but he does lose the ball, Freddie Lines are quick on his toes to get the ball back, but as soon as he's done that, here come Harangay again, the ball comes in to Joe Waite, he's into the box by the byline, Passes it across out for another corner this time from the other. 16th minute of the match. Ryan Hawkins now has it on, sorry, Ryan Miles has it on the halfway line. But Dodsworth to his left, he goes inside instead and he gets it across to Ryan Hawkins. Ryan Hawkins! Oh, that's fantastic! Well, we were just picking him up. Sure we can. Ryan Hawkins does make it six. He's had two penalties and four from outfield and very importantly, that can push Roxham on to better things. It is 1-0 to Roxham here at Haringey Borough's Coles Park. And the ball. Here it comes. It's low. Oh, it does find James Everett and a little... Oh, there's an opportunity there for King possibly to poke it home. He didn't manage to get the shot away. Craig Parker has it instead. No real options has to loft it back to his keeper, Ollie Sutton. He clears it first time, it's a long ball. Might be too long for anybody, but no, Dodsworth picks it up. 40 yards out, he's now in 20 yards out, he hits it hard, it's a great strike, and what a ball from Travis Dodsworth! What an absolute rocket that is from the left back, and celebrated by the corner that he only took 30 seconds ago. It was a quick counter-attack, netting. Um, yeah, really, really lovely goal from Travis Dodsworth. It's now two to the visitors, Roxham. Haringey clear left. And Barker heads it out for a throw in. Here comes Tybo Pratt. He works it across to Caleb Dennis on the left hand side. Harry Barker showing him on to his right. He steps in really well for the box. Oh, what a little run, but his shot is too high. That was a great. Bit of play from the left back. He works it onto his right foot and hit a shot from 20 yards, trying to do a Dodsworth. The number nine of Roxham. Matt Young to Dennis. And now having their longest spell of possession. Roxham dropping a little bit deeper. They do have a two goal lead, but they should just sit on that. Need to push on to try and get another, but at the moment they are defending. Joe Waite works really nicely, gets it back to Dennis on the left hand side. There's a few options in the box now, but we'll work it back to Manny Yaboa. He shoots from 30 yards and it goes five or ten yards over. 
Tywo Pratt, who works across the left-hand side, Caleb Dennis, the left-back, who again has also been lively on that left-hand side. Finds Joe, finds, sorry, Matt Young in the middle. Oh, it's another little step over and another corner is won. straight in with an interception though he passes the ball instead off the pitch and Harringay have it from a throw. So a substitution for Harringay. They've taken off Liam Boxall who's playing number eight. On comes Yuko Oji for number 12. Attacking change. They're more attacking now and it looks like the lovely 11 Derek Asamo, the experienced 43 year old, is playing more centrally now. Here's number 10, hits the ball. It comes in really nicely and actually what a start. Just like last game against Watson, Harangay, Harangay score almost immediately from kickoff. They looked a bit of so much time. It was a shot from the number 10, Matt Young. It looked like possibly he was. And in the 45th minute, 46, we find the lead of Roxham's halved to one now. The visitors lead. And they come again. Harangay on the right hand side. It's very lively from the new number 12 on the right hand side, he's looking good. Cuts around Dodsworth and he's to find number 10, Matt Young. He feeds it out to the captain, Olufemi, who dances forward. He's on the byline now into the box. Oh, it was almost a yard in front. It would have been a chance for Asamoah to shoot a goal from 10 yards out. What a blistering start this is, Nigel. Oh, that's that's young players is still to be improved. He works it onto his right foot and crosses it across the great little lockdown. It's dropped into the mix. Possibly, I thought it was an offside call there, but the lines are not caring about that. It's two and it's another goal for the number nine. No way, he just. Goal for Hiding it by arm. His second goal of the day, number nine, Joe Wright. Oh, dropped into the box and it was a bit calamitous really. Uh, it was James Everett who should have cleared it, bounced possibly another defender around it too. Could have been two opportunities for two players to hit it home. In the end it was wait and he snatched it past Ollie Sutton. No chance for either goal really from the goalkeeper, but the defenders have got to be hoping they do more than that. And Roxham are on the ropes really here. It's now 2-2. Harangay, who had a 4 0 lead last match, conceded out to 4 4. This time the visitors have a 2 0 lead and they've been attacking position, and Harry Barker will be hoping he can do something with it this time. He's not managed it. Manny Yabo, number seven, goes infield now. He's 20 yards from goal. He hits a shot. It's a great shot, but it's a good save from Ronnie Sutton. Low to his right. Manny Yabo, we've talked about how good he is with the ball at his feet. Caleb Dennis now. He's in a position where Dr. West Field is on the left back. Takes it his right. Once again, he won't get one. He it back to Manny Yabo again, who takes it around Freddie Lines once. Tywo Pratt, Olufemi throws it through, almost finds the substitute, OG. He's certainly been very involved hasn't he, since he came on, that's a nice ball through but good interception by Sankanu. Two sets, sends back to Aaron Gay and that's a lovely ball through for OG, it should be capitalised, it's an issue that's cleared, I think possibly Peter's had more time to do with that, they're rushing these clearances aren't they, box them at the moment. Harangay keep coming, lovely play from the number nine. He's got two goals so far. Go away and three, round one. Oh, that could have been a fantastic way to score a hat-trick inside 15 minutes. Oh, he's sat and holding that ball, I'm very grateful. He did really, really well there, didn't he, the number nine? He's looked very lively. Second half, I don't know what he had at half time. The amount that Yeah, it's possibly more about a 
about what they've done, isn't it, then, rather than what Roxham have done. Well, Roxham won't be pleased with how they've defended, certainly that second goal. And here comes another opportunity. And that's another the experienced man. He takes it down his chest, but his shot's not a good one, and it goes out for a goal kick. Derek Asamo, the 43-year-old. A lot of space for him as Roxham tried to push on a little bit. Rue McIntyre has come on from Freddie Lyons and there's a quick throw here, Ryan Hawkins on the left hand side takes it down with his head, hits a lovely shot and oh that would have been a fantastic goal to give Roxham the lead again, he brought it down just as uh, the number 11 okay, got him. and to Derek Asimov on the left hand side it's good fighting from Matt Young, he manages to find the ball across and it deflects and Roxham get a bit of a let off there a penalty. Caught by the number four, Sambu. Here they come again, Harringay, Borough. Good fight from Parker, but you can't keep up with the advance. That was a heck of a run from the number 20. Still going on the right hand side now. Taiwo Pratt works it back. And in the end, Parker gives away a corner with this one. It's in from the right hand side. It's a good corner. Barker initially. Heads it up, and that's great from Peters. It only goes out to the edge of the box, though, and a chance here on the left-hand side for Asanoa. He clips the ball in. It's a good ball, but it's initially defended. Here it comes out to Manny Yaboa, hits it with his left foot. Good block again, and now possibly Roxham can break. Ryan Miles plays it out to Travis Dodsworth. Oh, it's getting explosive as the explosion is in the sky. Serenade. Initial clearances. Only as far as the out. Inside the box, but that was not a good delivery from Dodsworth, and that's not a good header from Harry Barker. In all his time, he's got his line, and he's done really well to win that ball because he raced off. He's about 30 yards off his line. Less impressive then, at that moment. Uh, right, he's the ball, Caleb Dennis on the left hand side. It's again in the box. Manny Boa from the edge of the box is deflected. Thankfully, in a rocks in favour, and Ryan Miles tried to throw in. Dennis will take quickly. Oh, it's good. Number 12, the substitute, and oh, they hit a shot there. That would have been some goal. He's been so involved, Yuko Oichi. He's moved over onto the left hand side, or certainly did for that move. Harris, you know, they did score last time, and I think possibly had a big impact in the match last time these sides met. But here, I have a game in this match. It's on the box now. It shakes onto his right. It's a great oh, effort and a great right. save from Ollie Sutton. It's cleared away. Crossing to left hand side, Jordan Zaresti again involved. It's an early crossing to the box, there's a good pick out. It was that man again. The two substitutes combining OG. Try a little out outside of the foot shot, a bit like Ryan Hawkins is in comeback delivery. Doesn't beat the first man, though he was just in front of the goal. Got the second chance though, Dodsworth gets around to play. It's a great ball. Oh, that's so close to going in. Oh, and a bit. The keeper's okay there. Certainly be, I think, at least five. Ryan Miles has it on the left hand side this time now. He works for Dodsworth to join him and then plays it out to him. Travis Dodsworth on the left hand side. He's got a couple of men in the box. Tries to get round. He does. He nuts. That makes the attacker and an opportunity here. Worked out for Robbie Linford. It hits a sea of bodies. Oh, and almost the follow up could have been met by Tom Pike, but it wasn't. The ball bounces now. Only sounds off his line. Very far out and possibly unnecessary. Clearance then hits the number five. James Everett, that could have run much more wrong than it did. But I think Roxham will have hoped they could have done their four in the box there after a great little nutmeg. They're still having a great time. They don't care about the scoreline, do they? Just behind the line. Yeah, that throw happens and the throw is on the pitch now. Ryan Miles has the ball on the right hand side. He's got Craig Parker just in front of him. He finds him. He's got a big over opportunity on the right hand side. Rue McIntyre to his right, but he uses instead Tom Pike, but what a no, it's a hit very central. So Rue McIntyre was in acres of space on the right hand side. He chose to go with Tom Pipe instead to his left and the shot was central, but they are getting a few opportunities. So here is the stoppage time, six minutes on the clock. And we're into that now. The referee indicated a minimum of six oh, minutes. Here comes the oh, ball. Could have been a chance. And again, six minutes extra takes time. A foul takes a tumble. It's a nice little pass in from Tom Pipe. Sorry, from 
Dodsworth, who seems to be, Ryan Marshall seems to be a bit more uncomfortable now. But he is back running down. And Roxham, last few minutes, have had a few opportunities in the box. Crossfield pass, can't find Rue McIntyre, but Parker does well to get the ball back to him. And Rue McIntyre plays in. Harry Barker, he's in the box, gets it across, but the uh, Aqua gets down well to catch the ball. Harry Barker <laughs> header initially up. The ball bounces into the box and it's cleared only as far as the edge of the box. But here come Roxon. Just as Roxon were trying to break forward. It was a rescue to swing the ball and there might be a late twist in the tail. Manny Yeboa keeps the ball managed to find George as a rescue. He's got a bit of space on the left hand side. He's on, taking on Harry Barker. Clips it in with his left foot. Initially, James Everett gets the clearance, and that's really well played by Aston Jagger. Brings it down really nicely. Rue McIntyre, who we know has a lot of pace, sprinting down this right hand side. Still going. Oh, it does go out in the end for a throw in, and that is that. 2 2. Well, I think in the end, Roxham could have lost that match a few times in that second half. They could have won it a few times in the first. But ultimately, I'd say it's a fair result. Roxham and Haringey Borough, who are level and points, go from eight points to nine, respectively. They are still on the bottom, we think, Roxham. But I think they'll take a